Hi folks, it's Dan Starr with the first of a few videos on how to use the audio accompaniment of your keyboard. Now, the audio accompaniment is sometimes thought of as a bell and whistle. It's not, it's a full-fledged activity and it has many, many advantages, especially for those of you that just want a good and interesting hobby. You don't want to become a professional musician. I know, I am a professional musician, have been for many decades. But that, that's an unusual occupation. Most people just want to have a nice hobby making music. And for that, the auto accompaniment feature of keyboards is a winner. And uh, so I want to show you what it can do. I'm going to use the same song. Um, these, are two, these are three different levels of Yamaha keyboard, and I'm going to tell you how much they cost. You can spend as much money as you want to. You, of course, the more money you spend, the more you're going to get. So anyhow, we're going to do when the Saints go marching in, and we're going to use the auto accompaniment on this good basic keyboard. This I bought this for $60. So we'll see how this goes. So I've got it just about set. I've got to press a few buttons here. Here we go. Okay, that's a $60 keyboard. Now we're going to jump ways up. You don't have to jump all this far, by the way, but I did. And we're going to go to an $800 keyboard and see what way that can do. Same tune, same jazz style, which is Dixieland, by the way. And we're going to use this digital piano. Here we go. didn't work. I, I pressed the wrong buttons, guys. Let's try it again. Press the wrong buttons again. We'll uh, get this right here soon enough. Okay, now I also wanted to talk to you about the advantages of something called a fake book. There's been a lot of talk about these lately. I have two variations. This is the first one. This is the world's greatest fake book. Yay, team. But it has 1,200 songs. It cost me $40, but that's less than three cents a song. Ordinarily, one song costs you $4 if you just buy the regular sheet music. Why does this work this way? Because it's simple. You can pack more stuff if you don't have a left hand. Here we just have the words, the chords, and the right hand melody, which is what you saw me playing on this keyboard and on the more expensive keyboard. Okay, so that's it. Now there's another kind of fake book that's current, and that is one based on the decades. The Easy 70s Fake Book. These are songs all from the 70s, like Reunited by Peaches and Herb, Reeling in the Years by Steely Dan, Poppy Love by Paul Anka, Poetry Man, Phoebe Snow. But they all are the same. They all have the words to all the verses, the chords, and the notes. 
So what have you got to do? Well, you've got to be a little bit creative. You've got to decide which of these, what are called by different companies, different names. Yamaha calls them a style. They're types of music, like here we have Eurobeat, Dixieland, Big Band, Swing, Uptempo Jazz, Casio, however, the other big name in keyboards calls them a rhythm. At least that's what they've been calling them. And then you have to actually have to choose a voice. Now Yamaha makes this easy and I bet you Casio does too. Because they kind of boxed themselves in. They found out that people didn't know how to do this. Didn't even want to. They didn't want to be creative. The creativity had been bred out of them by bad piano instructors that insisted they just follow directions. Ever had that? Well, you're not doing it the way it says on the music. Well, guess what? Traditionally, uh, back in the age of Bach and Handel and Pachelbel, there was just a fake book arrangement. A lot of the stuff that became popular in the 19th century was not popular in the 18th century. It was a different era. And so the fake book kind of goes back to that era. It's very classical in nature. So that's a surprise, I'm sure, for many of you people. But hey, that's the way it is. Okay, that's it on this part of it. I hope I've convinced you that this is a worthy thing to do. I played the same song, did the exact same things on different keyboards, won $60, won $800, but they worked the same exact way. It's just the key, one keyboard was better than the other. So there you go. Bye.